Welcome everyone to Yoga Therapy Wednesdays through HR Wellness. And today we've had a request for upper back, neck, and shoulders. Oh, we've got someone else too. Oh, is I know. Nice. Okay. So bending the knees and feeling the feet. Inhale, arms coming up at the sides. Exhale, arms coming down in the front, bending the knees, feeling the feet. Bring the arms up the front. Now just notice which one feels better for your shoulders. So we're having a focus of upper back, neck, and shoulders today. Finding your breath, coordinate it with your movement, pausing between inhale and exhale. Placing the chin down on the inhale if that's comfortable, exhale, release, or you can look up if that feels better. Arms side and front. Also affects the core differently with the arms front and side. Maybe adding a bit of a lift now if you haven't done that. Maybe bending the knees a little bit more. Inhale. Inhale, shining like the sun. And exhale, waterfall down your sides. Inhale, shining like the sun. Exhale that waterfall down the front, the back. Moving into some side bends. Inhale, arms coming up. You're welcome to come up onto the toes if you want. Exhale, coming to one side and bringing one arm down, the other stays up, stretching into the rib cage. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. And you might be feeling this more in the lower back and hips rather than in the upper back, and that's fine. Just depends where you need it. It's also strengthening for the ankles, of course. Trying to create a valve with the throat by constricting the throat. This helps us slow the breath down. Now we're gonna add to this, we're gonna add a bit of a balance just for fun. Get into one leg at a time. You can go up on the toes in between if you want as an add-on. So this is for strengthening the hips and the legs. That's also for balancing the nervous system. And last time. Still hands to the heart. And if you'd like to make an intention for your class, feel free. Maybe something linked to the heart, heart openers, chest openers that we're focusing on today. And let's move into our first warrior coming to the back of your mat or the area that you're practicing in. Bringing your left foot forward, your right foot turned out, and make sure you've got room around you to bring your arms to the side. So inhale, arms to the side. And we're gonna stay straight up today, just something different. And thumbs facing back. Exhale, you're gonna drop your shoulder blades, draw the rib cage in. 
Inhale, arms coming up. And then we're going to add a forward bend. Now, for some of you, your forward bend might just be to here because of headaches. Um, if it's comfortable coming all the way forward. Also, if you're just A, you might not want to go all the way forward. And when you're ready, you're going to inhale, come up with your arms at the sides right away. Exhale, drop in your shoulder blades, draw the rib cage in. Inhale, arms coming up, warrior one. And exhale, forward bend, straightening that leg as soon as you can to get into your Parshva Uttanasana, your one side at forward bend. You might feel this in the back hip. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, dropping the shoulder blades, draw the belly in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Last time, inhale, coming up. Exhale, drop the shoulder blades, draw the belly in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. And you can stay here if you like, or you can keep this moving if you prefer. Adding some movement, you can inhale, look up. Exhale, forward bend. You could just be in this halfway position. And do something like that. If you're not coming all the way down today. Otherwise, just staying here and breathing. Decompressing the back, stretching the leg. You're ready, bending the front knee, gradually coming up and stepping back, finding your samastiti. You can standing right foot forward, left foot turned out. Inhale, arms at the side. Warrior one, arms at the side. Variation for upper back, neck, and shoulders. Exhale, dropping the shoulder blades, draw the rib cage in. Inhale, arms coming up, warrior one. Now you can look up as you do this if you like, and exhale, forward bend, or look straight forward, which is considered classical in the tradition I train in. Inhale, coming up, remember that forward bend, you can come just halfway down if you prefer. Exhale, dropping those shoulder blades, draw the rib cage in. Inhale, warrior one. You might increase the length of your stance if that feels good in your hips and your back. And exhale, forward bend. If you're coming just halfway, you might come here. You might start straightening your leg and then coming down. Keep this going. Five to six times. Inhale, coming up. If you want to follow my cueing, you can do your own rhythm. Exhale, dropping your shoulder blades. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. And maybe staying at the bottom now if you feel ready. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, forward bend. Again, you can do this halfway. or fully. And here, if it's in your practice, we haven't done this in a while, you can go from here into a downward facing dog. Otherwise you can just come back up and go to your sums to teeth standing. Staying in this position. 
If you're um, in a classroom right now, you could do this standing floor bend with your hands on a table or a chair. That's another way you can do this in a standing version with a chair in front of you or a table. When you're ready, whatever position you're in, coming with your legs forward, gradually coming up. And noticing how you feel. So that's one set. We're going to move into our next set. So we're going to add some twists to the upper back and neck and shoulders. So bringing your um, feet apart, we're going to start with our lateral bends, getting into the rib cage, and then we're going to move into some rotation. Inhale, arms coming up. My feet are parallel. They could be turned out. Exhale, coming down to just one side. Inhale, extend the arm long. Exhale, hand to the sky. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, other side. Inhale, extend the arm long. Exhale, hand to the sky. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, starting position. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, coming to one side. Inhale, extend the arm long. Now stay here, exhale, bring the arm back and look down. Inhale, extend the arm long. Exhale, bring the hand and look down. Inhale, extend the arm long, look front or up. Exhale, turn the head, look down. You want to challenge your core strength, you can let go of your leg. It's a little hard, but you can try that. And when you're ready, coming out of that, inhale, center. Exhale, other side, pelvic floor, lower belly, belly button in. Finding your triangle, trikonasana, utita trikonasana. Inhale, arm along the ear. This is a variation for neck and shoulders. Exhale, hand to the sky. Look down and feel that in your neck, your shoulder, palm is facing up. Inhale, lengthen. With your legs square like this, it should give you quite a bit of stability in the hips, I hope. Exhale. Doing this four times, inhale. Exhale. And when you're ready, inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. If you need a forward bend now, feel free to take a break. If you're ready to keep going, we're gonna add our rotation. Inhale, arms at the sides. Exhale, twisting to your left. Your um, front arm comes to your back shoulder. Inhale, arms at the side, shoulder blades together, palms facing down. Exhale, pelvic floor, lower belly, belly button in, and twisting to the right. Just keeping this going side to side. Just focusing on your breath. All of you have been with me for a little bit, so you know some of these movements now. And just finishing up your last round. Just notice any tightness in your neck. Exhale, release. Okay, we're going to go right from there into goddess pose rather than take the twist further. Um, you're going to try to keep the focus more upper back. So holding on to these imaginary plates, and I often think of blueberry pies for some reason, but whatever you want to hold on to. 
And when you come to the side, you're gonna bend your knees and go into what uh, in the West they call goddess pose and bring your hands to the sides with your fingers facing up and hands back until you feel maybe your middle fingers. Inhale, coming to the center and exhale, hands side and tipping your fingertips back and maybe feeling your index fingers and really flex those hands, those wrists. Inhale, center. Exhale, side and tip your fingertips forward and feel your ring fingers and then give it a shake. And then we're just gonna do one side at a time. So you're gonna bend, we're gonna start, I'll just set you up properly. We're gonna do this with Parshva Konasana. So feet parallel, fairly wide, turning your left foot out, bend your knee towards your toes, and then just find this position. So that's gonna be your exhale. Inhale, coming up, tip your head towards your shoulders. So you get a nice stretch in the neck. And exhale, coming to the side, tip your fingertips back. And your head is actually gonna lean down towards your shoulder the other direction. This is some nerve flossing. Inhale coming up. This is inspired by physiotherapy combined with yoga therapy. Exhale, coming to the side, tip your fingertips forward. This is really wonderful for working with these three nerves that run through the hands, the arms, and into the upper back, neck, and shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale side. So we really warmed up for this. Inhale, center. And exhale, release, feet parallel. We're gonna turn the other side, just finding the first position, bend the knee towards the toes, align the shoulders, arm at the side, fingertips up, bringing that hand back to a place where maybe you feel your ring, your uh, middle finger rather. That's your exhale move. Inhale, coming up, straighten the legs, tip your head to the other shoulder. Exhale, coming down and tip your fingertips back and tip your head towards your shoulder. So back and forth with the head, inhale up. Exhale, side, fingertips forward. Inhale up. Exhale side. Fingertips center. Inhale up. And exhale release. Bring you that uh, center nerve feet a little closer together, or they could be wide, your choice on that, and your feet could be turned out. Inhale, arms coming up. Now I'm going to show this way just so you can see. Oops, so I'm not going to be as wide because otherwise I'm going to slip. Inhale, here, your hands facing this way. So as if you're pressing into a wall, flexing your fingers back. Exhale, you're going to make Prince Edward Island lobster claws for me and come into a forward bend. And this is about that median nerve, the center nerve. Inhale, center. Coming up, you can do this with wide legs if you can. Exhale, forward bend. You can always bend those knees. You don't have to come down all the way if you've got headache stuff going on or blood pressure stuff. If you can, all the way down. Inhale, coming up. This is also wonderful for the shoulders. I learned this trip for India, in India, a variation like this um, for my shoulders actually in child's pose. And I realized, oh, this is similar to this positioning I created for working with the nerves. Just notice that one wrist is a little different than the other. Um, and this nerve flossing really helpful for all the computer work we do in our jobs here at Capilano. And also just the flow of the up and down can be really good 
for the nervous system, the back. When you're ready, staying at the bottom, if that works for you, you can stretch your hands forward. So as if you're in a downward facing dog and you can bring your feet fairly wide if you've got a yoga mat. Otherwise, not as wide is fine as well. Inhale, looking up, putting a little bit of weight on those hands. Exhale, coming back. Now you can do this with your hands on a table or on a chair if you do not have a yoga mat and uh, you're in a classroom right now. So feel free to modify this. I think all of you have done that in person with me. I'm feeling this nice stretch in the groin, perhaps. I find this movement really helpful for the upper back and for flossing of the nerves in the neck. When you're ready, just staying at the bottom. Maybe holding the big toes, Rasari Tapada Uttanasana, it's a classical pose. With your hands between your legs or holding those big toes. For me, it really gets into my groin. For other people, it will be more their back. You can just find your tight spot. You can always bend your knees as you exhale, inhale, straighten. And again, you can do this with your hands on a table or a chair so it's not so intense. When you're ready, walking your feet a little bit in and coming up when you feel ready. We'll just divide that into two breaths. Okay. So we're just going to do a little bit more with those neck and shoulders. We're actually going to go back to um, our samastiti for our last little bit. This is a nice practice to elongate the spine. Inhale, coming up with the arms and perhaps up on the toes. You can interlock the fingers, palms facing up or palms together. I like the palms together better, but uh, you can try either. I'll probably show both. Inhale, coming up. Now exhale as the heels come down, Stretch the spine nice and long. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, heels down and stretch the hands away. Now, another thing you can try that might feel better, inhale, coming up. Exhale, bring the hands to the top of the head and drop those shoulders down. And that could really get into the middle of the trapezius and those rhomboids get tight. Inhale, coming up. But today, that one is actually feeling best for me. Play with your variations. Exhale, coming down. Can't come on the toes, that's also fine. Drop those shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. And then holding opposite elbows, staying here as you exhale, drop the shoulders down. Inhale, release shoulders up. Exhale, drop the shoulders down. Draw the rib cage in. Inhale, shoulders going up. Exhale, drop those shoulders down. Inhale, up. Straighten your arms, hands at the heart. Loka samasta suki no pavantu me. Lokasamastas 
Suki no pavantu. Namaste, Namaskaram.